guys. I'm working on putting my bike in the map. Super friendly. See? So come near him. You let him touch him. But that's very new. He's very aggressive. So what I'm doing is I'm clicker training with this clicker. It's not so loud. Right? And what I'm doing is I'm going in. I touch him for a few seconds. Then I click. And if you're having getting to that point, you see my first video on... Uh, he doesn't want any. I have to trade his trust. Uh, you see my first video on first get, uh, getting them to let you hold them. And it's not really, you, you don't offer that as a choice. Um, you you basically, what you're going to do is you're going to reach in, grab your bird, flip them over, and then when they're good, flip them back. And just repeat that for a few weeks. I guess. Um, and you'll see tremendous progress. You know, they live a long time. They're pretty smart. Um, they learn, and uh, there's no rush. They don't. They don't appreciate it, and you won't either, because you're gonna have less success. But um, so continue with the hand training process. You can see he doesn't like it, but that's okay. Yep, he's gonna run away. He's gonna keep doing it. And right now he doesn't. It's not about choice. It's that when he calms down, I see his, his beak is uh, kind of indicating that he's not so happy. But um, you know, he still loves you if you bond with him, which I recommend. It's very important. I'm just trying to get away. <laughs> okay, what is that? Um, and just repeat this several times when you're able. This is this is what I call the second step. But um, what you want to do is just keep offering rewards and making it fun, interspersing tricks throughout the experience. Um, so even if he doesn't accept the reward, it I, I kind of view it as an olive branch. I don't know if that's how it works in the bird's brain. Um, but if he does take it, it's only positive, right? So if every time you do it, there's a positive reward and there's attention, like they do, they do love attention. So they tell them good boy or whatever, talk to them. Um, they'll they'll start to enjoy. So I think this is the second step of hand training: is get them to let you touch their mantle, which is their shoulders and wings. Um, once you get to that point that you can do it while they're on the perch, keep doing it on the perch and take take it to the next step, which you can see in my next video. But this is this process takes months, and if you don't think it's worth it because budgies don't live very long, which I thought originally, but I don't, I don't think it's true actually because it's a bonding experience. Um, you can get a longer lived bird, but I prefer budgies. I think they're cute. So this is an English budgie. Um, so he's not super happy. But again, from here, I'll show you. Like since he lets me touch him, I can open his wing. Right, and that's that's a, another key step to getting harness training. Um, so yeah, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, remember, keep them in a corner. Clip them if you need to, but I wouldn't recommend as a long-term solution. I'd recommend training as a long-term solution. Um, and uh, stay tuned for more videos.